Hey guys, so today I just wanted to jump on, uh, say hello, and I wanna do some really cool styles with the Ponyo, answer any questions you may have. Um, I missed y'all, I always do when I don't come on. So I decided to jump on before a quick little date night with my husband. Um, you guys, again, drop in and let me know if you have questions that I would answer. I'll answer anything. I'll do what styles you want. Um, I'm just excited to talk to y'all. So, uh, <laughs> hi, Abby. Uh, yeah, you guys just keep on dropping in and uh, we'll do some styles. So, right now I've got just my ponyo in. So, this is just a standard um, high ponytail, as you can see. Look how thick the ponyo makes it look. And look at the height on it, which is really cool because... I have a really thin, fine hair, guys. Like, I've got no hair at all. Like, it's super thin, so if I twist it, you'll see. So, like, it's thin. It's very thin. But the ponio spreads it out, makes it look thicker, fuller, and it looks bomb. Uh, we have the coolest colors, too. So, um, I'm really digging the purple these days, and or we call it the, uh, the lilac. And then I love this light pink as well. We call it flamingo. It just kind of goes with everything. Um, hi everyone, oh, this is so fun. Is the bun bar gonna be in a bigger size? Um, you know, we can definitely talk to our design team about doing something um, a little bigger for the extra thick, long-haired girls. So yeah, let, let's chat about that for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to put the pony in properly. And um, it's super easy. So to take it out, you open it back into a circle and it slides right out with no hair attached non-damaging, which I need all the hair on my head. So that's super important to me. Um, and so I'm gonna show you real quick how to just throw it up in a regular ponytail. I personally like to have a really high ponytail. That's not for everyone, but that's, again, I say it every time, that's what I like. So I know I'm a little old for it, but I don't care. Uh, so what you're gonna do is take your two fingers, your pointer and your thumb, and you're going to slide your hair through the top, keeping it super close to your head, guys. Okay? Now you're gonna, this is gonna feel weird, but what you're gonna do is drop your hair. Squash the ponio completely flat. And something else that's super important, you wanna spread the hair out. So you wanna make sure it's touching both ends. So I kinda give it a little tug on both ends before bending it. And then what you're gonna do is take your two thumbs and you're gonna take this thumb and put it on the back of the ponio. Then take your other thumb and wrap the ponio around your other thumb. Same thing on the other side. Take your thumbs, wrap it around. And do you see how that looks? You want these pointing down and you want this to be flat. So that's super important when putting on your ponio. And there you have it. The perfect perky ponytail. So easy, so comfortable, and again, non-damaging, which is so important to me, guys. Um, okay, guys, and any other styles? Let's just do a bun. We'll do a bun with the bun bar. Super easy, super fast. Oh, so I, um, my girl Kiki posted a picture of me. It was in the Barbie shirt, if you go back on our page. And it's something that everyone's been loving. So I'm going to show you all the bubble bun. Very fast, very easy, and I think you're going to like it. Okay. So, again, pull your hair up. I am going to go high again, everyone. It's just easier for y'all to see, too. So, here we go. Two fingers, guys. Point your thumb, point your thumb. Do not, I repeat, do not do this. It's awkward. It's, like, weird. Just don't do it. It's just two fingers. One, two. Okay, we're going to pull our hair through. And instead of pulling all the way through, guys, we're going to go into a bubble. So, you're going to pull about halfway. You can see. Squash it flat. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same bend. Same thing as we did with the regular ponytail. So you're gonna turn and you're gonna do a bend around your thumb. Another bend around the thumb. Give it an extra little squash. And you're gonna fan this puppy out. And this is that bubble bun that you can see on our page. It's really cute and it just gives it like a chill look, which I like. I'm into the chill. Especially with quarantine, there's like really nothing else to do but chill. But my husband and I are gonna pretend like we're gonna go on a date. Um, okay, so here's the bubble. Uh, any other styles you guys let me know. I would love to give you guys some tips and pointers on any style that you would like to do. Uh, again, to take it out, you open it. You open it and 
It's amazing, guys. You're going to be obsessed with it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you guys need any help, specific help, uh, I can FaceTime you. So I will specifically be the person who FaceTimes you. I love to talk to all the customers one-on-one. -on -one, so I will talk to you if you need any help. Let's do a bun bar. Bun with a bun bar. Love it. Okay. So I've got my little baby pink one. So this is our 2.0. It is thinner than the original. So it is definitely thinner. So you use this with the bun bar. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up. Again, I'm going to do a high so y'all can really see what I'm doing. And because it's what I like. Again. All right. So pull the hair up. Now we're going to put the bun bar or the pony on the same way we always do. Okay. Two fingers. Slide it through. Keeping it close to your head. Squash it flat. And then again, I like to give a little tug on the ends to kind of a, it tightens it up a little bit, and B, it kind of spreads your hair out. So we bend and bend, bend, bend. And with this, we are going to, guys, even with a 2.0, it gives it that like super high look, which I love. Okay, anyway, moving on. So I'm going to give it an even more close squash because I want it to be tight because you, you, want, you want this to be smaller. So we're going to give it a good squash. I just filmed a bun bar video, so I'm all I'm all bun barred out right now. Okay, so we're gonna do bun. So it is open on one end, closed on the other, right? We take it, we're going to take our bun bar, center the bun bar between the hair, and we're gonna hold it like a bicycle handle, go up to the shortest layer. Here we go, I'm gonna do a squat for you. Okay, so once you hit that shortest layer, roll down towards your forehead. I see a lot, or I've heard of a lot of people doing this, I ain't gonna cut it. You gotta go forward toward, oh, now I gotta redo it. Now you gotta go forward towards your forehead. Roll, roll, roll till you hit your head, okay? You don't want it to be too tight. If you're having trouble wrapping the hair around, once you'll, you'll see that in a second, then it's too tight. So you're gonna do one less roll. So you want a little room to wiggle to where you can pull. Okay, so we're going to bend and we're going to overlap these two things. So I'll show you here. You take it, you overlap them. And the thing with the bun bar, guys, squashing. So you want to squash the living crap out of your bun bar. So squash it, okay? The tighter you squash it, the more secure it's going to be. It's already going nowhere and it's not even covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. So you take your fingers and you're going to slide your hair. Oh, I may have made it a little too tight. Slide your hair over the bun bar and again, give it an extra squash. So we have our bun bar in, and I like it bigger. The bigger the better. I'm from Texas and everything I like on top of my head, and I like big. So we're gonna take my fingers, hold on to the back of the bun bar, and we're going, I did make this a little too tight. So normally it would pull out a lot easier, but you're going to give it tugs. So you're gonna see it growing with each tug. And it just gives the illusion of this big, voluminous hair, which I don't have. So, and this is with no extensions, guys. Like, I normally have to have extensions in to get anywhere near something like this. But how cute is it? Cute for a date night, cute for just sitting at home. It's comfortable. So, there you go. There's your bun bar, so easy. Again, if you need help, you let us know. They'll connect you with me and we can chat and talk. So, now to take it out, you just expose the bar, expose it, and then it just rolls right out. Boom. So, okay guys, this is so fun. Let me show you the, real quick, before I go, I'll show you all the bling ring because I'm kind of obsessing over this uh, rose gold one. It's really pretty. It has like some sparkle in it, which is nice, but it's not too overdone. What you're gonna do is just, and okay, so it's stretchy and magnetic, so it's super easy to put on. You know what? I'm gonna do this one, actually. I like them all. <laughs> this, the other one, I, I, I chose the wrong one. Okay, so stretchy, magnetic. Here you go. Now we're gonna take it and wrap it around, and boom. So easy, so fast. It dresses up your ponytail. You could even like go to a wedding with it on. Like, look, look how sweet it is. So yeah. Guys, it's so fun, so easy. Let me know, let us know if you have questions. Okay, you guys are talking to me now. Um, do you have to wear a thinner one to use the bun bar? 
Um, the thicker one, it will still work. It's just harder to cover. So I prefer to use the thinner, uh, the, the 2.0 because again, it's not as bulky with the bun bar because that's a lot of, of stuff on your head. Yeah, the new pearl one. Oh my gosh, do I have that one on me? No, it's in my bathroom. I will bring that out next time. I know that we got the new pearl one. It is so freaking cute. Um, we're coming out with some like really cool things, guys. It's in the future. It's happening. We've got, we've been in the talks about new designs. We've been talk about new bling ring so yes we have a lot coming up and we're so excited to launch all of it and we'll let you know as soon as that happens um you've been rolling your bun bar backwards i'm so glad you watched this yay okay so i hope that fixes it for you go try it message us and let us know if it worked and like please take a picture like you we love pictures we love videos from y'all we will repost you 100 percent so glad you watched it that makes me really happy um Okay, bring it. Uh, I want to see the pearl. Okay, let me go. Well, I need to make sure. I promise y'all next time I'll bring it. I don't want to like run out for like 10 minutes looking for it. I promise you though, I will bring out the pearl next time. It's really pretty. We have it posted on our, um, on our main page too. So go check that out. Um, can you go up the sizes? Of course I can. So we have, this is our original size, right? So this goes really well for just, it goes well for fine hair and regular hair, I guess you would say. Even thick hair, it works great for. Um, and we recommend if your ponytail, when you put it in a ponytail, if it's the size of a quarter or a dime when you're wrapping it around your hand or with your hand, that's good for the original. And then we also have our 2.0 original. So you can see the size difference there. Um, and this one's good for sections of hair. It's good for your bun bar, and um, it's good for just different styles. It does work for all up. Um, it's not going to be as like strong of a hold. I'm wearing it right now all up, and I think it holds really well. Um, I, when I work out, will wear my original, though. Um, and then we do have the XL, which the XL, I have one right there, is going to be bigger and for thicker hair. So what we say with that, it's good to use the XL if you're... Again, holding your ponytail, and it's the size of a golf ball. That is going to need the XL for sure. The XL just makes it easier to pull your hair through, and it makes it easier to bend. So it gives you the ability to do sharp, individual bends like this. This is what you've got to do with your pony. That's the shape you want to do. So the XL makes it easier to bend for thick hair. Do not, please do not, do this when you put in your ponyo. It's not going to hold as well as if you do this. So it's very important to get the shape correct. Um, I love my ponyo. Oh, well, I love you. I'm so happy you love your ponyo. Uh, can you try on the XL, please? Of course, yeah. The XL works on every hair type. Um, I mean, it will work on my, again, I have thin hair. So I don't have thick hair, I don't need the XL, but I can definitely show you, give me two seconds. Here it is, okay. So you can see the two sizes. It's not that huge of a difference, but this one is bigger, okay? So I will show y'all the XL. It's not gonna look any different. It just makes it easier to bend if you have thick hair. So again, this is just the, or this is the XL Ponyo. What you can do is two fingers, like there's more space to do the baby shark. So two fingers, slide your hair through, keeping it super close to your head, squash or flat. Okay, and again, I don't need it, so it's kind of like, it's a little more difficult for me to do the XL because I don't need it. But um, again, you're gonna see these sharp bends. So you're gonna take your thumb and your thumb and wrap it around. Take your thumb, wrap it around, boom. This is the XL, guys. It looks the same as the original. There's nothing different about the look of it on your head. It just makes it easier to pull through. Um, can you make a bun? Yes, you can definitely make a bun. So with your ponio, it's super easy. You twist and you just, I like to put my finger here and you wrap around and then you can just tuck in. So easy, boom. Um, and then I did do a bun bar. Um, if you go back on my video, you can see the bun bar. If you want me to redo it, I totally can. You guys just let me know what you want. 
Oh, you do want a bun bar again. Okay, yeah. So this is with the ponyo. It's the bun with the ponyo. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out. All right, so we open it back up. Open it up and no damage. I need to buy the colors. The colors are so good, guys. It like makes every outfit pop, which gets me all excited because I'm all about hair accessories, obviously. I'm in Ponyo, um, but I just love things that are just different, you know, and these really make your outfits like, you can wear like any color. I mean, this one you could do any color. Okay, anyway, I'm babbling on, let's go. We are gonna do the bun bar again. I guess we'll do it with the red. You can really see it cover. Okay, so, it's like glasses for hair, quarter size of Ponyo. Um, the classic, yes. The classic is for quarter size or dime size. Sorry, I was like trying to reread it. If the lights are kind of bright. Okay, so let's do it again. Bun bar, guys. So easy. Again, I just did a tutorial today. I filmed one. So you'll really be able to see step by step how to do it on, uh, on our page here in a little bit. Two fingers. Pointer, thumb. I'll do it every single time. Okay, we slide it through, keeping it close to our head. Squash your ponyo. This is our pony 2.0. It is our thin version. And I like to use this one for your bun. So if you do a bun bar, I always use the 2.0. So the bun bar, here we are. So what you're gonna do is take it. So it is open on one side, closed on the other. Take your hair and take the bun bar. Center your hair in the bun bar. Slide it up to the shortest layer and you're gonna roll down towards your face. It's so important. I'm so glad I helped someone earlier. So you're gonna go forward towards your, your forehead, okay? Once you hit your head, you wanna leave some space here. We're going to wrap the bun bar and we're going to overlap it and squash, okay? So I just like, I just squeeze the crap, again, the crap out of it. Boom, okay? So, and it's already secured and it's not even done. So what you're gonna do is take your fingers and roll your hair over the bun bar and give it another squash. Okay, and this one's gonna be easier to pull out so you're gonna really be able to see how big it can get. So you're gonna take your fingers and kind of hold the back closed and you're going to tug to make it bigger because I think the bigger, the freaking better, everyone, okay? Once you're done tugging, you always want to end it with a squash. So you're gonna take it and go squash it. Oh, and then you can kind of manipulate it, but there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bun is done. So let's see, anything else? I have super long, thick hair and I love my classic. Yes, I think, okay, so if you love your classic, the XL is going to be like so easy for you to really bend. So you're, it's gonna be like, a game changer for you if you have super thick hair. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting the XL in some colors because the colors are freaking bomb. Get a couple different colors. Um, uh, da -da. Uh, that's why you got to call customer service. Yes, everyone, our customer service is amazing. They will help you in any way possible. Um, I will even FaceTime you. We know that our products work and we are so confident that we, I will take the time to FaceTime you. So if you have any trouble, you call or email or message us on Instagram or Facebook and we will make sure that you are taken care of. So make sure to message us. Um, does anyone wanna give me theirs? I want some funny of girl. Get one, I'm telling you, they're to die for. Like you're going to be obsessed with it. Um, didn't. Uh, I did it right. It didn't work for me. Well, again, you can take advantage of our um, of our FaceTime and we can help you out in that way. So let us know if you need some extra help. Um, okay, guys. Well, this was so fun. I'm going to go and hang out with my hubby. And uh, again, let us know if you have any questions. If there's any styles you specifically want me to do on a live, please message us and I will do it. Or I could even do a tutorial video and send it to you directly. Um, so you bought 10, ah, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, what colors? Oh God, my, what's y'all's favorite color of them? Mine, ah, I really like the blue a lot, but 
but the pink I feel like I don't know I like the blue and pink I think the blue and pink are my favorite um let's see the pearl I know the bling rings are so good and the pearl one is like it's our brand new one so it's, it's fresh brand new and it's definitely one of my favorites uh, you like the pink and the lilac? Yeah. The pink, you like the dark pink or light pink? I I think I like the light pink. I think it's, it's like the flamingo. I like that one. Um, when are you going to go worldwide shipping? We actually do. So go to ponyoworld.com and you can order on there. If your country is allowing um, people to ship to you, we will ship to you. Um, so definitely go on Ponyo World and you can see if we ship, um, if we're allowed to ship to you. Um... Columbia, uh, do we not ship it? We'll have to, I'll look into that. Uh, go ahead and message us and we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, I have been rambling. Thank y'all for tuning in. Again, I am here for you. Please let me know if I can help you in any way possible. I can't say it enough. Um, love you guys. I will see y'all next week. So glad you showed the bun bar. Girl, I am too. Try it out. Send me a picture because I want to see it on you because uh, my Instagram is Ponyo Hair Girl. So if you want to get uh, go to my personal one, shoot me that picture because I'm dying to see it on correctly. All right. Thank you all. Mwah. I will see you next week.